What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Dan. I'm Beats and Beats. And gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Yeah. Cheers. La am <clears throat> So, Rob, you were just, uh, before we started recording here, talking about Irish coffees. <clears throat> I've been, I've, uh, was doing that for a while, a couple of weeks ago with a bottle of Jameson coming home from work and make a little coffee, pour a little Jameson in it. That, that's not where we're going to get caught up right now. Let's back up to what Josh said, which was fighting words. What did you just fucking say, Josh? That he doesn't like coffee? I don't like coffee. I don't <laughs> like coffee. I never have. I can't but, do it. Uh, I'll tell you this. Uh, you, you don't like cigarettes. You don't like nope. drinking. You, you don't like coffee. And uh, uh, the fourth one we can agree on. But yes. Uh, uh, fifth one, uh, meat. You are going to hate the smell of the bus. You are just, you, there's Fair only enough. one of the five smells you can enjoy. You're just going to hate the smell of Rob. <laughs> just the smell of Rob. <laughs> if, if <laughs> my uncle's though, the reason why I hate those smells, and you smell like my uncle. <laughs> being honest, though, like the only thing that could really like drive me nuts would just be the constant smell of fresh brewed coffee. But that's like, for me, I have the story behind that because my oldest daughter, her mom worked <clears> for Starbucks when they first came about. Okay. And every day was fucking coffee. No matter what you did, you washed the clothes, you couldn't get that fresh coffee smell. So it's more of just the smell of fresh coffee beans. Well, then. wait, hang on. You said you said Starbucks and fresh coffee. Those two don't go together. They don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> no, fresh coffee. But... I, I respect and understand people's ritual for coffee. It just, it wasn't my thing. I couldn't do it. And then once, like, it became cool to go get coffee drinks and all these flavors and shit, I was like, yeah, you lost me. I'm glad I don't waste my money on that. Yeah, I'm not really big on Starbucks coffees, but I've just recently, like, in the past, like, five years, started drinking coffee more often. Uh, I hated it growing up because it reminded me, like, my dad smelled like coffee all the time, and that's just what it reminded me of. He like that guy would drink a whole pot of coffee and then go to bed. Like it didn't even affect him, you know. Like <laughs> my, dad, my dad would be, we'd be working on a car in the driveway, and it'd be a hundred degrees outside, and he'd be drinking hot coffee. Oh well, yeah, but dude. it brings that's... your body temperature down. Yeah, that is true. I mean, and hmm. some, yeah. somebody brought this up in a in a video, and I just I think this is the craziest thing is like. How our bodies accept temperature. How our bodies accept temperature? Accept temperature. Hear me out. Okay. Uh, what, what, what's considered hot outside? Uh, well, today it was 110. Okay, <laughs> That's kind of hot. You put 110 degree food inside your mouth and it won't be that fucking hot. But you walk outside and it's 110, you're fucking dying. Mm. Uh, same with the cold, you know, where you could put fucking freezing in your mouth and ooh, but you go outside and you're just like, holy shit. You know what I'm saying? Just ooh. The, the temperature ooh, difference like the, between uh, the outside and inside. Like, really selling it to us. Uh, it's, it's a fucking trip if you think about it. Like, if, oh, if you had a fever of a hundred and more cowbell. Needs more cowbell. No, yeah, but if you had a fever of 106, you're pretty much like, you're done. You're you're getting close <laughs> to seeing curtains. Yeah, your, your mouth can handle that no problem. Well, I mean, what else can your mouth handle, Rob? What else can your mouth handle? Maybe not 106. <laughs> maybe just a six. But thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> oh, oh fuck, man. Oh, you guys. We have you a new single coming out. A ditty party, huh? <laughs> I'm going back into the Jenny party. <laughs> oh shit! Real quick, uh, you guys just want to say we have a new single drop in October 11th. Save yourself. There is pre saves available on uh, our TikTok and Instagram profiles in our bio. Check it out. Pre save it. Uh, can't wait for you guys to hear this one. It's a fucking banger. Boy. Yeah, we can <clears throat> finally talk about the song I've been mentioning for months. <laughs> what song's that? <clears throat> yeah. No. The one that comes out on October 11th. No, I've never <laughs> heard that it. one. I haven't heard it. By the way, I did uh, email Mike Z, the, the radio edit, Danny. So, 
Yeah. You can just finish can that you get though? him to drop another bomb? What happened? Can you get him to drop another F bomb when he interviews you again? <laughs> right. Why, did he? Yeah, on the interview. I, I don't know if he was a little tipsy already or whatnot, but there's a clip of him interviewing them, and yeah, another Last Days of the War song on the fucking radio. Oh, fucking yeah. Said, <laughs> Who said that? Mike Z. It's oh, in Mike, the clip, Mike dude. Z did. It's, yeah, in the clip that I posted when we were plugging Same, he was like, another Last Days of the War song on the fucking radio, and then he goes like this. <laughs> I'm so sick of these guys just dropping these songs, you know? Oh, that's Fuck great. Just stop, bro. No <laughs> one wants to hear this shit except for everybody no. else. <laughs> yeah, so, Rob, what are we talking about today, man? Oh, well, we got a couple things that we could be talking about today. Uh, first thing I would like to address is we lost a legend in the music and cinema uh, realm. We lost uh, Chris Christopherson this week, the highway man. <clears throat> We did. Um, younger kids probably know him from the Blade movies. Mm -hmm. uh, Payback. Um, A Star is Born, the original version, though. So, and then he was Dude, also was... With, in The Highwaymen with Willie Nelson and uh, Johnny Cash and Will and Jane, so. That part I didn't know. I knew about his, music, his movie stuff. I didn't know that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Full album and everything. Um, That's cool. Not to check um, that out. You also have, like, um, he was a big supporter with uh, Sinead O'Connor when she went through all her stuff. <clears throat> and so when she was getting booed on stage for being an artist and, you know, tearing up the picture of the Pope on SNL and they started backlashing against her, he stood up and gave her a big old hug on stage. And, you know, she cried on his shoulder and everything. He's just like, stay strong, you know. Keep doing it. So he was one of the originals, and you know, bless him. Enjoy your journey. We still got Willie though. So, no, yeah. don't jinx it. <clears throat> right, we've lost a couple people recently, haven't we? Yeah, Pete Rose. Yeah, and WWE, then uh, WWE Hall of Famer. I believe it was either the today Harry or Potter yesterday. Movie. Oh yeah, uh, what's her name from Harry Potter? Uh, Maggie what's her Smith. Name? Mag yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Maggie Smith, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> the guy who did the voice of Oogie Boogie uh, died. Yeah, that guy died. Yeah, today. I think it was today or yesterday, yeah. But yeah, oh, man. Wow. Well, that's the show, guys. I'm scared. <laughs> Everybody's bummed out. Everybody's, Everybody's dead. dead. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Let's go. Well, uh, now we got to Oogie Boogie out of here. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this uh this uh spaceship that's headed our way uh Danny you want to you want to you want to dive into this what we got going on with this alien sounds like you're diving into it you know yeah. um i don't know i originally heard something like a while back i heard some like about the pentagon coming out and saying that there's like some kind of like uh object in space and it's traveling towards us and it's course correcting or something but then i heard yeah. something about about somebody was talking about originally on some kind of podcast or something so it's just so hard to tell but um yeah i don't know yeah. weird stuff you know yeah so i had heard this telescope had they it's able to i don't know exactly how it takes the pictures how it collects the data but that it's able to see a few planets that they believe have city lights on it it's and, like uh, and, they could. I think they could measure like infrared light, and they could also measure. I be. I believe like different gases and stuff like that. Yeah, right. stuff you know, like that. You know what they're advertising though? Alien yeah. jerky. Alien jerky. <laughs> yeah, all, alien jerky sold here, and it's like <clears throat> arrows and come take your pictures. Oh, you but just yeah, passed so, alien jerky. So the thing is, is there's they've detected something that they say is about the size of like a small city. And it's course corrected, and it's headed straight to Earth. But like you were saying, Danny, it's going l like less than a, a fraction of the speed of light, or some shit. Or <laughs> yeah, I, I heard somebody say something like it's going, it's slower than the speed of light. And you're like, okay, well, how far away is that? Because that could take fifty thousand years, you know. I mean, <laughs> so, right? Kind of like it's, you know, <clears throat> it's just, yeah, cool story, yeah. bro. You know, yeah. yeah. 
So everyone's like, why is nobody talking about this? It's like, because even if it is true, they're not going to make it in our lifetime. Uh, well, I mean, I feel like I feel like you need a little bit more, like a little bit more evidence into it before I go, like, oh my gosh, something's coming before I like go and alter my life or something, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, like I said, it's just it, the information's so crazy. I mean, the stuff that you've I've heard recently on on a lot of that kind of alien UAP stuff, it's fucking bonkers, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just love that word everything's so crazy now here that people started talking about aliens and the government releasing proof of aliens and everyone's just like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, over here we got, (laughs) it's so crazy because you hear shit like that. Right. And then you've got, we've got situations where people, how long ago we're talking about like the P Diddy situation. And now it's like, well, fuck now we're living in a world where that's not so crazy because it's, we're literally watching unravel and it's like, it's just crazy, man, the way information flows these days, you know? It's yeah. just, uh, everything's crazy. just kind of <clears throat> fucking crazy. Diddy was probing everybody before the aliens, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, dude, I I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool if we lived to see an actual spaceship land one day, man. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, so hear me out. If you had to fight an alien, right? All right, here we go. And it was like, you had to do... <laughs> uh, you had to do like your your regular green Martian man, right? And mm. then you had to do like all the way up to a fucking xenomorph. You know what I'm saying? Like, which alien would you uh, could you fight and take on? On you know? Uh, I, I could probably beat the shit out of ET, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm not fighting no xenomorph, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> fucking beat the shit out of ET. <laughs> Messed up. Um. <laughs> What about I'm, you, Rob? Who you fight? The alien from Mac and Me. What are you fighting, Josh? You know my wife. You know what I'm working with. I got Marvin the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> he went with an animated. I love it. I love it. A little bit. T- like little. I can beat a cartoon's ass. Josh is so high, he's just fighting cartoons. <laughs> <Just like it. laughs> that sounds like my Saturday morning too. If she lets me in my timeout chair. Oh, shit. What about you, Danny? What are you fighting? Oh, shit. The bugs from Starship Troopers, man. The bugs from Starship Troopers. You went, you went full Xenomorph for the, huh? I was say, I think that's... Uh, right into it. You went for the top, buddy. Yeah. Uh, you want to be a, a fucking neck? Mac? What are you going to do with Mac and me? Fucking... Okay. So are you fighting space, barehanded? Space... Or you got weapons? <laughs> Oh hell you gotta have you gotta have you you're in you're you gotta have the right weapons with with that movie, you know? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, hear me out. The spaceship lands. But but they hey, say, hey, if you're fuck hold on, if you're fighting E. T. though, you don't get no machine gun, bro. No. Okay. <laughs> you get you get some fucking Reese's peanut butter fucking No, we're throwing hands, me and E. T. dude. <laughs> you gotta throw peanut butter fucking. You just gotta watch out for that <laughs> finger. Right? Oh shit. Hit you with the That's ditty, what Mark dude. will be saying. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, so, Danny, Spaceship Lands, aliens come out. Take us to your leader. You got one person in the world that you can tell them is our leader. And definitely it's not whoever the fuck's running our country right now. So, well, <laughs> who are you okay. showing? Who, who are you showing them? <laughs> I, I would literally be like, fucking welcome to my planet. These are my people. Nice to meet you. Fucking, what's up? What are we doing here? You know? Oh, you're yeah. the leader. Got it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I like they that. see me first? Guess what? Hi, everybody. I'm now your leader. What about you, Rob? Um, who do I give them to? Yeah, like, who, who are you, uh, I mean, who I are you saying? I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're giving <clears throat> them to them. I think you're going to lead them to somebody, right? And then yeah. this is going to be the one person that represents Wait, on, all Rob, of humanity. Wait, aliens show up and now you own them? <laughs> yeah, well, let's no, go with that. The one person that... Who are you getting to represent humanity? Okay, but are they taking them with them, or no? They, they just, just have... they just want to meet them. No, I'd like, say welcome to Earth. Like here's our here's our representation of who we are. You know, Keanu Reeves, dude. Yeah. See, it was either that or Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman's a good one too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> here's our leader. 
the first thing the alien says, I love Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> the aliens seen Shawshank Redemption. I love that movie. <clears throat> that man climbed through five miles of his own shit just to get to freedom. <laughs> I'd, Dude, send him, I'd, send him, I'd send him to uh, Neil Tyson to grass. I'd who I would do. I'd be like, Oh, there go, you go. go. That's a good one. Go, go meet somebody, and this guy could point you in the right directions because I feel like uh, you're gonna need somebody with some kind of intelligence, you know. Now it all depends all right. because if the aliens came out orange. I already know who I'm going to introduce him to. The Lorax himself. For you. You <laughs> the Lorax himself. Josh and I had the same idea. <laughs> I already knew where you were going Thank with you. that. Go with the Lorax. Mustache and everything. All right. They've never heard music. You're handing them an album. What are you handing them? Their music? Ah, there we go. I like Josh's, I like Josh's mind he's, right there. He's like, check out our shit. <laughs> He's like, check well, out the greatest out. band in the world. Check out the greatest band in the world. It's us. Here you go. <laughs> We are the leader. We um, are the leader. I don't know. Maybe something by Boston. <laughs> <laughs> by Boston? <laughs> you know, Boston. Get, get, get a little jam session going on. Like, let's see if they'll jam back with <laughs> More than a feeling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. You know I don't know, just man. Get a, just get a sing-along going. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, they know this one. <laughs> I'd be like, here's some Fleetwood Mac. There you go. Led Zeppelin. Damn it! <laughs> out drinking ocean spray. Oh. <laughs> I've seen these videos. Is... Hey, uh, Josh, uh, we were talking a little bit about uh, what's going on with former member of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, if I'm not mistaken, right? It's well, not, he's not a current not member. <laughs> yeah, he's not a current member. Yeah, no, they're working with other people now at this point. Probably Dave Navarro would be my guess. <laughs> I would, I guess. Yeah. I'd... I'd classify him as a, <coughs> excuse me, a touring member they had. Uh, I don't know if he ever got any credit for any of their writing stuff. Okay. But he did a couple tours with them. For He was in the band for, I think, like three years. It was when Fushanti backed out for a while, and they were still trying to continue touring. So I think he was part of, like, that stadium album tour they did and stuff. But his name okay. is Josh uh, Josh Klingenhofer. He uh, is going to be arraigned for vehicular manslaughter charges uh, in a day or two when this podcast, or would have been arraigned by the time this podcast airs. So um, <clears throat> the only thing that was weird with that story is there is video footage of the incident, but he was already tried in civil court and convicted before he was even tried in criminal court. And I kind of thought, like, didn't criminal court work first? Yeah, so, I don't I, know. That's I don't know the difference, but it, he's supposed to be getting arraigned on Thursday. And uh, it's going to be vehicular manslaughter, vehicular manslaughter with non-gross negligence is what I believe it's called. So, like, uh. as close as you can <clears throat> get to, like, it was an accident. But if you watch the footage... Uh, I don't the guy know gets can... squished, so it is gross. <laughs> There's... <laughs> That's a way uh, you could describe it, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know there was footage of it. So he took off? He hit him and he took off? Apparently, he just drove right through the dude. Like, he didn't even see he was there and just kept going. Oh, shit. Yeah, it looked oh, yeah. like... I mean, it looked like there was just... No break. It was didn't. I don't think he saw him. He just ran him right over. But with like yeah. the camera footage, it was far enough away that you couldn't see in the vehicle. But with the way he was driving, it's almost like if his head was looking the other way, or if he was on his phone, and just hit him and just kept on going. Like didn't stop. No nothing. Damn. That's crazy. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, he's probably gonna go to jail. You know. Okay, yeah, this, isn't, this isn't the first time that uh, musicians have gone to jail for murder. I was about to say, it's we're going to go down that road. There's a couple, Let's go. couple uh, famous people. The one I'll go with is Randy Blythe. A uh, kid was killed, what, stage diving? Yeah, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Where uh, I guess he threw him off the stage and they didn't catch him and he hit his head on the ground and ended up succumbing to his injuries and... They ended up pressing charges against Randy Blythe and the band Lamb of God, and Randy served his time. That's crazy. Out. Was yeah. Was did Randy did Randy throw the kid off the stage? 
Um, or he just took he was just the one that took the blame because it was their show. It's Blue. a mixture of that. It's a mixture of that yeah. because he was the front man of the band and was the spokesman mm. of the camp. It kind of turned into somebody in the band is going to take the blame for this shit. So he kind of yeah. stepped up and took the blame for it, so to speak, in a word. But because they couldn't prosecute everybody and they couldn't go after the manager. So it was kind of like, you're the front guy. It's your responsibility. You're supposed to keep them safe. So now you got to kind of self keep your eyes out. <laughs> Don't yeah. be throwing fuckers off. Danny, when they ask okay? me, and, when they ask, <laughs> Danny, are you with us? <laughs> no, not at huh? all. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man. Um, go ahead, pick another dead uh, or fucking person. Celebrity. Yeah. <clears throat> another artist who's been arrested. Uh, Vince Neil had an issue with vehicular manslaughter and got put in jail for a couple years because he was drunk driving. And then a uh, similar thing with Def Leppard's drummer, Rick Allen, on New Year's. He got drunk arrested. Driving, right? Drunk driving, crashed his own yeah. fucking car and did that shit to himself. Hmm. It, well, you got to hand it to him. Is that how he lost <laughs> his arm? Yes. That's how he lost his arm, huh? Yeah, yes. he rolled uh, in a car. Uh, it was New Year's. He was partying and decided he was going to go in his car, and it was windy road. Slammed into a fucking tree. Damn. Landed up losing his arm. Arm first. <clears throat> <laughs> Is it? Accordioned it. Who else? Uh, what about? Uh, wasn't was was Sid Vicious ever arrested? Um, he was. A, yeah, he was arrested. So you've for, never charged, he, right? Uh, he was charged with Nancy's murder, but he was out on bail when he committed suicide, so to speak. Right. But yes, okay. he was charged because then they bailed him out of Rikers. <clears throat> Damn. I'm drawing a blank when it comes to musicians that have gone to jail for this stuff. Uh, gone to jail for murder? For murder, bro. dude. Phil Spector? Oh, yeah. bro, bro. <laughs> the A big one. Who are we forgetting right now? Tim Lambesis. Tim Lambesis. Uh, as I lay dying. Yeah. Tried to have he, his what? Tried to have his wife killed. Put a hit on his wife. That's uh, right. Yeah, that's crazy. I know we've dude. talked about it a lot recently, but I think P. Diddy's gonna be on that list, right? Isn't he uh, <laughs> up for Tupac's thing? He got his own list, but yeah. yes. Yeah, man. He claims that he had uh Tupac and Biggie killed now. So right. that he had both of them killed. But, yeah, man, uh, speaking of that really quick, there was, you were talking about somebody was trying to shop around one of these P. Diddy videos or something like that, and uh -oh. the attorney, yeah, well, was it was, a, yeah. In a good way or there a was, bad way? No, there was a podcast where a woman was claiming that she had knowledge of a video that was, like, being shocked apparently to whoever was in the video and i guess it was like a pretty high profile celebrity the lady the person wouldn't say who it was but the interviewer asked if it was as big as p diddy and uh her answer was much more recognizable and known and you're like ooh, but uh take a guess oh we I'm guessing on guess. this one <laughs> let's take a guess i'm not gonna make a guess i'm not gonna guess that's crazy. Uh, Little Nas X. <laughs> no. Little Nas X. Dude, I've seen so many crazy stories now on like X and TikTok and everything. Like, I don't know what to believe oh, yeah. anymore when it comes to this. That's exactly. It, it's like, oh, so-and-so just released a video. And then I'm like, did they though? I'm like, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> well, I heard something today that there was about 3,500 people that stepped up with claims about, you know, like uh, sexual assault and all of that and like a civil lawsuit that's happening. And they vetted I all saw the people. That. And I, it looks like they've got like 120 or 150 people in a lawsuit that are that's going to happen, I guess. Yeah. And what's, what's uh, quite frankly, fucking disgusting is apparently... I think nine of them were minors at the time when it happened. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that fucking – if you're going to do crazy shit with adults, that's a different thing. But, like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, that's – yeah, yeah. That guy needs to go to jail for a very long time. So, 
<clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to watch it happen. Yeah, man. Do you remember um, his song on the Godzilla soundtrack years ago? On the Godzilla soundtrack? Yeah. yeah he did he, he, It was when he re- with, uh, when he with remixed, Paige, right? uh, Yeah. When he remixed uh, one of Led Zeppelin's songs and sang over it. Cashmere. Okay. I remember that. Do you remember what the name of his song was? <laughs> what was it? No, I don't. Come with me, bro. Just, oh, this is taking on a whole different meaning. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously. Yeah. Just, yeah, I, I didn't... it creeps you out. Like, when you learn about this shit, like, there, I, I know we talked about the gray area between the artist and the art and all that. But when, I think when a crime becomes so big or, or you know, like the magnitude of the crime becomes so like, uh, that you have to go back into time and listen to their art or view their art again through, wait a minute, now I know this about you. Now I'm going to go back and see your art and see if I can still approve and listen to it. Like Michael Jackson, for example, didn't yeah. write songs about, oh, I did this little kid. And you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> wait, I think there might be something wrong with Michael, but you know, and then you go back and listen. You go, oh, he's diddling little kids. You can hear it in his music. You know, uh, Chester, you go back and you listen to Chester's songs. He's screaming for help the whole fucking time. And everyone's like, I didn't even see this coming. But you're like, oh, yeah, this seriously. is every fucking song. So now we got to do that with Diddy's music. I mean, R. Kelly was easy. Oh, in the closet. Well, oh, what was what oh, was the one? I thought I told you that we won't stop. You know, it's like. <laughs> I thought I, I told you that we won't stop. Stopping, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, it's I just it crazy to see so... how many interviews where he was just like, everybody knows ain't no party like a duty party. It's like, bro, like, what's going on, dude? <laughs> like, just I'm openly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard I heard Le- LeBron James release a statement that somebody had asked him, and he was like, I'm gonna pretty much said that like I'm gonna wait till I hear what information comes out before I make a statement. I respond, like, yeah. Yeah, like, dang, man. Like, so basically, he wants to see if he's in trouble, too, or not, before he, wants, he says I anything. I think it's also, too, it's also <laughs> how much trouble he's in, you know? I mean, is yeah. it like, yeah, well, who knows? Maybe well, maybe that's who the uh, video was being shot to, you know? <laughs> it could also be uh, Hollywood's other number one white boy, who's his buddy, who's supposedly on his list, uh, Leo. Oh yeah, Le- yeah there's Leo's a few there's a few like, people yeah that could change some Crazy. shit if it's if it's him or if he's even involved at all but supposedly he was in tight with him and there's a lot of pictures with him so you, you, you never know <laughs> never let go <laughs> 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 you guys is there anything else that you want to talk about before we start wrapping this up uh there's a couple things let's go what uh, you got October 11th, less than two weeks, we got our new single, Save Yourself, dropping. Uh, for those of you who may be new to The Last Days of War and are familiar with songs such as Reach and Remain Untamed and Same, this probably isn't for you. Um, <laughs> this, this or maybe it is. A little bit. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, but October 11th, you can listen to it. Click the pre-save link. Because that helps us out. That helps you out, reminding you when the song drops that you get to hear it first. And it helps us out because it shows people that actually care about what we're doing other than us and our parents. Um, So, you know, my mom (laughs) says I'm cool, but when you guys listen to our music, it says I'm cool, too. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Not cooler than Mark, uh, but, you know, just cool. Thanks, Rob. Um, But we also have a couple shows. Danny? Yes. Yes, uh, the <laughs> district in Redlands, California, Halloween night. And then we've got Goodfellas, Bar and Grill, and Rancho Cucamonga. And that is November 2nd. That's right. Josh? Any last words? <laughs> well, are we going to have a countdown to days when Rob's in California? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, What? Are, what is today the... Today is the first. I no, it isn't. No, I don't know what isn't. day it is. What day is uh, it? Today's well, what? the third. Okay, so 20 days. Okay. 
the Thursday. Also, it's Thursday, Josh. <laughs> hey, are we doing this October what we did last October and gonna have a couple of Halloween themed episodes? Um, okay. yes. That brings me I think to another Rob, point. Is it Rob? I got another point. Um, I know everybody saves up and stocks up on their Halloween candy to pass it out to all the kids. And I know everybody's all about, get the king size, get the king size, get all the kids to love you. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. If you get the cheap pack of candy, cheaper pack, you know, the less expensive, you know, with the Tootsie Rolls. No, it. I want you I to like send it. them all to Mark this year. <laughs> Every fucking Tootsie Roll you get. You, you know what? I dare you. Box and I dare you guys to, to send me your Tootsie Rolls. Every Tootsie Roll you send, I will eat on this podcast. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. We got one We're, better. We, we got one better. And what it can't is... be from and it can't fucking be from you guys, so don't even try it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're gonna start a GoFundMe. We're gonna start a GoFundMe, bro. We're gonna put this on there, and we're gonna be yeah. like, "Remember this video when Mark said Tootsie Rolls were gross? Well, now he just said that if you fucking said Tootsie Rolls, he's gonna eat them." Here's the GoFundMe. We will do, we will put all the money towards Tootsie Rolls and Mark's. Gonna we got the them. we got the PO box, guys. I think we bring... just made the ad for it right there. Here it goes. Give me a big bowl or a basket of Tootsie Rolls to the November 2nd show, and I'll get your ticket for you to come in. So we can watch this dude eat a bowl of Tootsie Rolls. Because they're not coming from me. All of them. It's got to be a fan. But everybody, if... everybody that comes to this show and brings Tootsie Rolls, Mark has to eat them on stage. Hey, Afterwards. November 2nd's the cutoff date. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All righty, guys. With that being said, Please check out all the links in our piles, guys. We got singles coming out. We have merch available. We got all sorts of stuff going on. We have a music video coming out soon. Uh, thanks for listening. 5th. November 5th, we have our album dropping as well. Rob, what is the official name of it? It gets worse from here. I like it. Hell yeah, man. I'm really excited for you guys to check that out. Um, yeah, we're the last days of war. This is the last days of Warcast. Thanks for listening. We're out.